Hello everyone, uh, this is a very quick um, follow-up tutorial from my last tutorial about the array tool because I uh, ended the video by saying um, that you can use the array tool whenever um, you know you, you don't have um, random object placement although that's probably not true in all cases but uh, that got me wondering what if what if you did want um, objects to be randomly distribu uh, distributed over your scene um, and I I thought maybe uh, someone made a script about it and uh, I found it that there's a script called dis distribute which lets you uh, randomly uh, create uh, objects in your scene so I'm going to show you how that works now uh, for that you need two objects. One is the object that you want to be to have randomly um, copied around your scene and one is a surface that um, uh, that acts as a guide or something um, so our evolution knows uh, where um, in which uh, parameter or something um, I'm not expecting this right um, I'm just going to show you it, it will uh, I'm going to create a spline mesh I have not covered this um, in another tutorial or something I'll just explain to you very quick I'm just drawing a rectangle on the top uh, view here and the spline mesh is basically it is the it is made in the uh, triangle mesh editor but the spline mesh is just one flat surface, it uh, is not solid or anything. So yeah, that's what the spline mesh is. And the way this works is um, the, by creating the spline mesh and assigning it to the distribute uh, script, the cylinder can be placed anywhere along the surface of this uh, plane. So <coughs> let's uh, go ahead and do that. Go to the distribute script, and these options here uh, serve to distribute over. That will be the spline mesh. Objects to copy is the cylinder, and you can even um, have rotation and size variation. So if you set this to 0.5, it's also uh, the size will also be randomized. So that's pretty cool. All right. As you can see, there are now some objects here that can just hide the spline mesh. And as you can see, it randomly placed the cylinders into the scene. And you can see also this one is very a uh, lot smaller. And it even appears to be square. I'm just going to very quickly show you why that is. Somehow, um, Cylinders are, um, this is just a preview shape or something, our evolution doesn't want to make it a uh, whole round, so you have to convert it to a triangle mesh if you en encounter something like this, and type of something like 0. Point, well, yeah, 0. 0. 0.01, yeah, that's enough to make it uh, round, so let me show you what I did here, this is, this is just uh, a little bit on the side. As you can see, the geometry is round, but in the preview it's square, so triangle mesh gets rid of that. But anyway, um, there are, uh, is also another um, way uh, to kind of use this. Let's get rid of the spline mesh. Say, so what if we made a cube? and we distributed the cylinder along the cube. Let's do that. Search to distribute over is the cube. Cylinder 1. Number of copies, it's a big cube, so um, let's say... well, 50. And what ends up happening is they all get placed in the corners of the cube. 
that's interesting. So the way to really do this is it only attaches the uh, object to the points in mesh. mesh. If you have, uh, for example, spline mesh, you go to the wireframe view, you can see that it has all these points and it chooses uh, randomly a point to place a cylinder on. So for a cube, you only have four points, and those are the corners of the cube. Well, of course, not four, but uh, oh well. Um, so you could uh, make a triangle mesh out of this, but I, th I always like to work with poly meshes, of course. So when we create a cube here, it's a very big cube, by the way, and let's make it a bit smaller. And we edit it. <coughs> We're just going to uh, go to face mode and subdivide. Now it has some extra, some extra points here. What do you want? Uh, more points? So subdivide. Let's do one more. So there's more possible places where the cylinder can go. All right, let's try it again. Distribute like this, let's say 50 again. Okay, and as you can see now, I'll just hide the polymesh. It randomly placed objects all around the surface of the cube, and you can uh, use any surface for that as long as there are enough points to choose from. So bear, bear that in mind if you uh, experience that you should subdivide your mesh. So this is a, a very nice way to randomly distribute your meshes into the scene. So I hope this was helpful. Uh, see you later.